Dear Digital Confectioners, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for the game you bestowed upon the world, from the level design to the mechanics, but best of all, the way the teams have to work together through good communication and reliability on one another. So tell me, fine men and women of the Digital Confectioners, why did you think it was a good idea to make a shark that grabs all this by the fucking balls and just tosses it out the window? Oh yeah, that's right. Welcome to a stupid guy to the fucking bull. <laughs> oh, Shark Bryce, you should calm down. Why are you treating the bull like he's OP? You wanna know why? Well, maybe because he fucking is. The bull is part of the Berserker class, which is a class that is really stupid for multiple reasons, which I will scream about in another video. Oh, but what about nets? Nets are so effective on the bull. Oh, oh, you're right. I'm so sorry. How could I be so silly? You know what? Why don't I show a list that shows all the sharks that can also be effectively netted? There. Now shut the fuck up. And the only reason bull mains don't admit that their shark is stupid is because they are afraid that King Jackal and the other confectioners are gonna crawl out of their underwater sea cave and castrate this bitch. He's not broken because of his health or damage. In fact, nothing besides his speed is really anything to write home about. But it's his ability. His fucking ability. This shit, Enrage, is next level retarded. Enrage has a meter that you have to charge up, but really the ability can be activated at any time. The meter just really shows how effective the ability will be. But what happens when you do activate the ability, you might be asking. Well, you see, what happens is that the bull grows a massive fucking penis. And when that happens, the divers should prepare their assholes for the amount of rape they're about to receive. You know, remember when I said that the bull tosses out reliability out the window? Well, that's not exactly true. You see, the bull does rely on his teammates sucking him dry. Oh, and that bad communications thing? That's because the bull constantly peer pressures its teammate to rush for him. But why is this? Well, remember that meter you need to charge for your ability? That thing fills up through diver activity. So that means turning in gold, placing shit, and every bull main's favorite, shooting. Oh, I forgot to mention shark shields. So you know those things that are like a cock blocker for most sharks? Well, for the bull, it's like being handed a bottle of Viagra. So, in other words, this shark gets rewarded for doing jack shit. Does it have to be human? Does it have to be mine? And I haven't even properly explained what his ability actually does. So depending on how charged the meter is, you get bonus health, bonus stamina, and bonus attack damage. And it becomes less like, oh, I'm so mad, and more like, oh, I'm so fucking horny. And I'm not even done with all of its parts. Oh, no. The meter also shows how destructible your environment is to you. So you can go through an untouched wall like the Kool-Aid man. And don't even get me started on your ability at level fucking 3. If you fill up your ability at level 3, you get 200% HP, 200% stamina, and 166 damage. So not only do you delete everyone you grab, you'll never fucking die, making the bull the best shark for chain killing. I mean this when I say it, but you have to have every known mental disorder to die as a shark. Well, this shark is so brain dead, even compared to the Great White, because at least with the Great White, if you chase him, he can't at any moment turn around with a full bar of health and a can of whoop ass. What the fuck is this shit? What the fuck is this shit? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, your meter bar sticks until you leave a certain range from the divers. Meaning you can just go in, kill, leave, and come right back because your ability takes 7 fucking seconds to recharge. I'm not fucking around. 7 seconds. Allow me to demonstrate what is going on in this bull main's head right now. But duh, but duh, but duh, my ability's charged up though, I'm gonna kill everyone. Oh ho ho ho, I'm so good, I'm so good. Better than Shemp, better than Nemesis. 
The only true counter that I see to this shark is going open water, and not every diver is gonna want to do that. I just realized that I've been complaining about this shark's ability past the 5 minute mark. I really need to calm down. But in all seriousness, this shark's game is always the same. Sit outside like an asshole, bully your teammate into rushing the divers, hopefully they cooperate if they're a little bitch, charge up your meter, and then flex on your quad kill. Now you're probably wondering, yeah that's retarded and all, but what kind of evolution build should I give this shark? Is there a certain pattern I should- No. Are there specific evolutions I should work- No. Well, maybe there is- No. After you max out your ability, do whatever the fuck you want. Get hangry for pressure, get nimble finned for lunging, get serrated because you're an idiot, get ignore pain so you can't die, get blood feast so you can't die, or get vitalized frenzy so you can't fucking die. In conclusion, the bull is a dumb ass, broken ass, tanky ass, delete your ass shark about bullying your teammate to bully the divers to bully the bully and shove a broomstick up my virgin asshole. <gasps>